Hi guys, Graham here and welcome to the second episode of Traditional Flash. In this episode I'm going to be painting up this design of a contortionist kind of gymnast circus girl and I've already lined it up, just putting a bit of black on the flowers and it's time to get painting so let's get started. Right, I'm going to start off just by doing her hair and if you haven't watched um, my previous video about Copic markers, that's what I'm using, they're pens with... Um, Different, well, I've got four different pens for the black, which I'll put in the description the names of those pens because uh, they're all coded. Capic markers are all, have all got their own code and a name, so I'll let you know what they are. And you do the black, then you go around with the next colour, which is uh, pretty close to black. It's a really, really dark grey. And then the one after that is a bit lighter, and then the one after that is the lightest shade. And once you blended them all in, you get a nice gradient, giving the effect of a nicely painted sheet of flash. And it's a lot easier than using paints or inks and they are uh, water resistant so if you stain the sheet afterwards uh, it won't run as long as you do it properly uh, I'll probably do a video about staining sheets at some point but if you're going to do it the main thing to remember is use tea not coffee I mean coffee not tea sorry and uh, use cold coffee because otherwise uh, it can actually make the pens run so okay just done a bit of black getting the creases in her pants and now I'm just going to do a bit of black on the shoes. There's not that much black in this design really. With traditional stuff I did try to put a lot of black in because um, they did use a lot of black um, when this sort of style originated. So trying to keep it as traditional as possible really. You know trying to emulate the the style and a bit of black in the leaves because there's not much black in this. I don't usually put black in the leaves, but uh, with this, I will do these. Both of these designs on this sheet, um, they don't have very much black in them, so I'm putting black sort of where I can to keep it looking a bit darker and more in keeping with the style. And also, as the leaves on the other side of the design have black in, it, it seemed a good idea to put black in them as well, so they all matched. I like to keep. Uh, designs in the same set or in this on the same sheet especially uh, matching as closely as I can just gives it a nice theme running throughout them and uh, I always use the same colors in in the sheets uh, in a set just to keep it all running along the same lines and with these I'm not actually using very many colors I'm uh, using red a green a brown and a yellow and that's it so what I'm doing now is I'll show you these colors uh, I'll put the color codes for these in the description as well so but you can you can tell by the color of the caps um, kind of what sort of shades they are and these pens by the way have a brush tip and a sort of calligraphy sort of flat tip oh and I use a colorless blender which was that there as well uh, just to blend out the edges of the colors sometimes but for example now I'm not going to I'm not going to do that because I just think that sometimes with with traditional work they they used to just literally just paint a line and not blend it out and it it looks pretty effective uh, when you tattoo it it looks good as well so so that's what I'm doing with these flowers if you see what I mean just a little white border around the edge because they wouldn't have had uh, many colors when they were tattooing these so they wouldn't put uh, more colors in the designs and they could tattoo obviously so they would just keep it simple and to give a highlight around the edge they just leave it skin colour. So just adding a bit of red down the bottom as well as uh, on the on her face like on her cheeks and on her lips. Uh, with the cheeks I just put a little dot of red and then go around it with a colourless blender to give it a rosy tint. So the reason I put the red dots down at the bottom is I like to balance out my pieces uh, with which colours I use in them. So there's red at the top, so I wanted to put a bit more red at the bottom. Just I just think it looks nice when you do that. Um, with a with a dress, um, I'm putting a bit of brown in it, just to give some shading because the dress is going to be yellow to match the design on the other side. And so the brown shading will give it a bit of contour. They used to do that quite a lot as well. Uh, the reason I'm doing the dress yellow as opposed to any other colour is uh, well, I'm not really using any yellow in the rest of the design so that would be a good place to use yellow and also to match out balance both sides of the sheet like I say just keep it keep it matching 
um, putting a bit of brown along the edges of her legs uh, when they they didn't obviously wouldn't have a skin tone ink so what they would do is they just put a little bit of brown along the edges to g just give a little bit of shape to the to the to the parts of the body which we're showing so in this it would be the legs the arms um, and her face so yeah same thing with the arms just uh if you if you're thinking oh where do I put this bit of brown shade in then just look at uh some flash on google if you just uh if you just search you'll find some stuff it's not it's not hard to find in this modern age with uh google being absolutely rammed full of flash luckily so now um just gone back to the black pens just to I just thought I needed a bit more black at the bottom. There's hardly any black in this, so I just wanted to add a bit more just on the shoulder straps on a dress. And once I've done that, I'll fade out a little bit more brown into into that black, at, like I've done uh, at the top. Oh, and a bit of brown uh, between the, I don't know what they are, frilly bits of her dress, I guess. Just to give the a bit of separation between those two, because if they're just blocked in yellow, that wouldn't look really good. And now I'm gonna colour it in yellow. It's just solid yellow, not leaving any gaps or anything. The key to traditional work is to keep it fairly simple. If you uh, saw the stencils, these uh, some of you might not have seen them. They're the old. I think they're made out of acetate. What they what they would do is they would carve out the design in some acetate and they would sprinkle powder on it and then put some Vaseline on the arm and lay the stencil on it so it's basically like a sheet of plastic with the design carved in and where the dust settled in the cracks in the design where they carved it out the design would stick on the skin so they had to keep it simple because these stencils weren't that good so and, and plus like you know these guys weren't they weren't the greatest artists in the world so but the style is amazing anyway, so they made up for it with that. So uh, now I'm just putting a little bit of red around the edge to match it out a little bit, and that's done. So this is what the final sheet looks like. And the other design on the other side is on a video that I did previously, so if you just check my channel, then you'll be able to see that if you haven't seen it already. And yeah, I think that's quite an effective sheet. Both sides match nicely, and uh, I tea, um, coffee stained it. Sorry, I keep saying tea stained. Coffee stained it. Uh, basically, what I do with that is I just get cold water, coffee, and I probably mix around a quarter of a cup of water with a uh, level teaspoon of coffee, um, and then I'll cling film a surface, uh, and I won't actually pour the coffee onto the sheet. I'll I'll pour, pour some coffee down onto the cling film and then I'll lay the sheet on top of it and then dry it off uh, either with a hairdryer or some sort of heater. I've got um, an electric heater at, at the shop that's just sitting about, uh, sitting about. So I dry it off on that. But you can you can try it however you want. Just be careful because um, if you're, like I say, if you're using hot water, it will blur, the, the black will blur out. The other colours will be fine, but the black might blur, so... Yeah, you do want to watch out for that and um, I usually do two coats of staining and the reason I do the staining afterwards is because if you do it before and then paint over it the colours are going to be really bright in comparison to the brown sort of muddy coloured background so you put it on afterwards and it dulls your colours down which makes it look more traditional and it gives it an aged look and it just looks, it just looks a lot better so if you're going to do staining that's how you do it and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and like this video if it helped you out. Uh, comment with any suggestions and thanks for watching.